Welcome to this lesson video. Today we'll be looking at uh, physics 1505, which is modern physics. We are looking at question 1, May, June 2016. Let us start. The question is simple. We have this question. It's simply saying state three equations of motion and explain all the symbols. It's for 15 marks. So we shouldn't be struggling to answer this question. We all know that we have three types of equations of motion. And we should be able to know how to derive them. But this question, it doesn't require any derivatives. So we simply explain the equations. The first equation, it's this one whereby we have vf equals to vi plus a change in time. Now vf stands for object's final velocity. The SI unit is meters per second. We have v initial, which is the object's initial velocity, which is also measured in meters per second. And then we also have a, which is the object's acceleration. It's meters per second squared. And then we have change in t, which is the object's change in time, and then it's measured in seconds. We are done with the first equation. We go to the next one. Our next equation is similar to the previous one, but then you can see that the only difference, we have power 2, and then we also have change in x. Then there's also 2. It's just a variable, actually a number. Okay, for V final, we already explained that one, we cover it. We also have initial velocity, we have acceleration. The only symbol that we haven't covered yet is change in X, which is the object's displacement is measured in meters. So to explain this equation, for this one, you simply write the previous uh, explanation, also for this one and this one. And then we have objects displacement in meters. We go to the next one. For the final equation, we actually know each and every symbol here. We know that this is the displacement of the object in meters. And then we know that this is the initial velocity in meters per second. We know that this is time in seconds we know that this is acceleration in meters per second squared and then also have time again which is in seconds so this question is simple provided you master this equations of motion there is a question whereby we are required to derive you are given the first equation and then we must use the laws of integral to actually derive the, the, the remaining two equations. That's it for this lesson video. This is Fabula SJ. Thank you very much.